What the f- Alright guys, I hear you. You want me to make a tutorial on how to run Rec Room on your Nintendo Switch. And instead of just, you know, plainly giving you like a three second video sh just telling you, hey, go here. I'm going to f visibly show you what to do. Alright, so once you finally make it to this website specifically, I'll put the link in post-editing. You want to read through most of this because this is really important in case anything bad happens. But after that, you go click continue getting started and it will ask you for your serial number as in you have to put it into a certain website to pretty much tell you if it's able to be patched or not. Because if it's not, if it's patched right here, it will not work. If it's unpatched like my Switch was, you're good. Okay, but once your Switch is known to not be patched, you just want to continue to this part called Entering RCM. This part is somewhat hard. It gives you a list of instructions of what you can do to get into the specific mode. RCM, it, RCM mode is the recovery mode for your Nintendo Switch. Now, what this thing is, is you just click and expands. It shows you what you can do. These RCM jigs you can buy off Amazon for like a couple bucks, maybe like five, I don't know. But pretty much, this is what you need to hit mainly. These two pins are very important. Pin 4 is your Joy-Con's power. It provides power to your Joy-Cons. If you hit that, your console will be fried. And it will not work. Now, the payload is you download software from either for either Windows, if you have Windows 11, 10, or 8. I think it works on most major builds, like from 7 to 11. Since I don't use my Switch uh, at home mostly, I usually use Android. Uh, because I'm nowhere near my PC and I need something to run this payload. Now the payload is Hakate, which is the Switch's bootloader, or the modified bootloader. So, uh, at this point, I'm just going to skip most of this because from this point forward, you should just be reading this on your own. But let's just uh, skip to uh, the part where we're able to download Android. Alright, so now here we are on the Switch Root page. Switch Root is what the Switch will use for Android. And now this is the website you need to go to to actually do this. So, of course, you go through all this. You want to make sure you read through all this first. Uh, you know, 16 gigabyte or higher capacity SD card, and of course, an injector tool. Now, read mo all of this because a lot of this is important for you not to break your switch. And the one thing you should know is to dump your Joy-Con Bluetooth data, because if you do not do that, Android with Switch Joy-Cons will not work. And now, before you do any of this, like dump Joy-Con DB, DT, uh, it just, you have to have your Joy-Cons plugged in. And of course, yeah. So once you do all this, uh, you, of course, just want to keep going, read through all this. I keep have to, having to say that because some people just watch YouTube tutorials and it's very bad. Once you do all of that and you're successfully loaded in and you've read all of it, instead of just watching this video as a guide, which you should never do if you're modding a console, make sure you have access to the Google Play Store. Have access to the Google Play Store and a Google account. Because if you do not, you cannot install Rec Room from the Google Play Store. And then run Rec Room on your Switch. Hoping that you manage to somehow understand what I've been saying for who knows how long. You should have a working Switch that can run Rec Room. And, you know, just, just run it. That's it. That's all it needs to do is just run Rec Room. Maybe play a couple games of paintball. You never know. Hopefully I didn't forget to say anything or show anything. Bonfire.